Welcome back, yeah. welcome back, yeah. welcome back to yeah. Primary Teaching with Primary Teaching. Welcome back, 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 welcome back to Primary Teaching with Dom. For today's video could be about lesson planning. I'm going to talk about, let's first talk about if I'm planning for the whole week and then I'll tell you if I'm planning just for one day. Planning in general is hard because sometimes you're thinking, where do I begin? What am I going to do? Who are you aiming it for and what do you want them to achieve? Let's just do English. So in the week I'll do Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, I'll write it down. And then on Friday, I will, I will generally start with Friday. So let's say you are doing a lesson plan about letter writing. You are going to write a letter to something. In English, you do tend to have to focus around a book. So we did Super Daisy and by the end of the week, I, I need them to, ach to have achieved this. I always start with Friday. Or if some of you, if you're planning a series of lessons from Monday to Wednesday or Monday to Thursday, you will I would generally start with that last day, that big right that they're meant to achieve. Let's say on Friday, I want them to be able to write a letter to Super Daisy thanking her for saving us from Planet P, because that's what the book was about. I need them to do that. So what do I need for them to know? So I need them to know what a letter is. I need them to know what goes in a letter, what a letter looks like. So basically the features, do I need any kind of spag? Um, so that's spelling, punctuation, and grammar. So what do I need them to know? Do I need them to know any conjunctions like and or so or yet? Do I need them to know about full stops, capital letters? Do I need them to know about expanded noun phrases? Um, do I need to know? Do, I, do they need to know about any clauses? Now that's a lesson that you need to think about. That is, I don't know for any other school, but I know personally for me, that if I was to plan a four-day English, English session or a three-day or even a five-day, I need there to be some sort of SPAG-related lesson, standalone. So that means when the children get to Friday or Thursday or Wednesday, whatever, that they know that they need to add that SPAG lesson of learning about conjunctions and subordinate clauses or whatever, that that needs to be in that letter. That takes up two lessons. So you, so you kind of know by the end you want them to write a letter. So you just, I normally just jot that down on the Friday. The learning challenge or the learning outcome is to be able to write a letter. That's one lesson. Maybe on like a Wednesday, if you're thinking about a Monday to Friday week, on the Wednesday, you want to put that spag lesson. So it could be learning, joining clauses, and so if and yet. On that Wednesday, the learning challenge would be to be able to learn or to be able to do joining clauses in a sentence that's two days gone so you're thinking about three days hmm so you've got wednesday now that is to do with your spag lesson you've got friday to be able to learn the feature no to be able to write a letter now what do you need to do ah i know the first thing i need to do most probably is to learn the features of a letter Ah, because some children may not, depending on their age, they may not have seen a letter or they may have seen a letter but don't really care about it because because everything is now internet based. So some children that I noticed in my lesson didn't know what a letter was. You have to teach them. On that Monday, your learning challenge could be to be able to learn the features of a letter. Until you start to look for different things. Do I want them to do anything? In terms of, do you want them to be fit? You want, do you want them physically to be in partners in groups and work together to label the features of a letter? Do you want to have it on the board and have them com having conversations and let them help you? If we're working together on our lesson plan, Friday done. So to be able to write a letter, you we've got Wednesday already. So we are learning to use joining clauses in a sentence and then on that Monday you want to learn the features. So you've got Tuesday and Thursday at this point. I've got Monday, Wednesday and Friday, which is all good. I'm like, yes, I've got three days, I've got two days. Now I'm thinking, now, on Friday I have my success, my 
success criteria, not success criteria, my learning outcome, learning challenge, whatever your school calls it, is to write a letter. But they need to plan it. Ah, fascinating, they need to plan it. Are you gonna plan it on Tuesday? Not really, because you got that spag lesson on that Wednesday. The only available slot is Thursday. So you've got Monday, <laughs> are you are you rolling with me? Let's go. Um, if we're working backwards, we've got Friday, writing a letter. Thursday, planning the letter. W Wednesday, we've got the spag lesson, or joining clauses. Tuesday is mm, free. And then Monday, you have got the features. In essence, since you're reading the book, it depends how you want the children to be. Are you going to read the book to the children? Or are you just going to show them the front cover? If you're planning with me, we're planning the lesson together, planning the week, I would think that reading the book to them would be great for them to get the context of the book. And depending on where your children are, you might want to do um, Eric starters. Eric starters are the ones where you interpret, you, you retrieve information, where you explain. Explain, retrieve, interpret, and uh, I forgot the last one, I forgot the C. I forgot to see, I, I've forgotten it. But it's something to do with, would you change this or what would happen if this happened? So you might wanna do that to get the inference skills. That can be a standalone lesson by itself, where you literally read the book to them and ask them, what would you change? Explain why this happened. Interpret, why did they use Super Daisy? Why did they do this or whatever? That can be a standalone lesson and that could be an easy way of no marking. So that can be a Monday. So because you're doing that now, so your learning outcome could be for them to be able to, to be able to retrieve information, to be able to interpret information from reading a book. That's good. And then you can start putting in the motions, we're going to be writing a letter. That is the next lesson, because you read the book, you've done the Eric starters, you've got them to talk, you've got them to move around and play T um, word tennis, which is making up a story, making retelling the story by each child. So I'm person A, you're person B. I will say one word, you say the next word, and I say the next word, and so on. Playing different games centered around the book. And as we're very smart teachers, you could actually lend the games into the letter that they're going to be writing on that Friday. That's your Monday sword. Our learning outcome on Friday is to write the letter. Thursday, we're now planning the letter. Wednesday, we're learning our SPAG, which is joining clauses. Tuesday, they're going to learn the features of a letter. And on Monday, they are learning to interpret and read and do all of that from the book. So you've now got the whole week plan, basic. All you need to do at this point now, and let's go forward, so if it makes sense to you, you're now interpreting the book and getting them to play games so you understand their comprehension skills, whether they can interpret, whether they can evaluate a book, to knowing the features of a letter, because if they don't, then how are they gonna write it? To that spag lesson of joining clauses, which they need to have to, in order to write the letter, so they can say, um, thank you, Super Daisy. I am so happy that you was able to save the planet P and save us from eating peas with chicken and broccoli and all that. Okay, full, full stop. So you've gone from that Tuesday to that spag lesson, then on Wednesday. Thursday, you're now planning the letter, and Friday you're right. It's not as easy as I'm just saying it now, but that's the way you can go. I always, always start from the Friday or the Thursday, the, the last English session I'm having for that week with that book and work my way backwards because it always helps. Look up different resources and you get the success criteria. So success criteria for Friday could be, I know how to write a letter. I can use full stops in my sentences. I can use a joining clause in my sentence correctly. And then you can start ticking it off that way. As you know, you need to plan, you need to get the resources and make, that's how I start the lesson plan. And then from there, I look on TES for resources. Twinkle, which is a great one as well that I look up, and that's how I plan for a week. In terms of planning for a day, a standalone lesson is a bit different, but the same. I always look at the end of the lesson. What do I want them to achieve by the end of the lesson? So if I want them, if a standalone lesson, that please do, I'm doing this side, aren't I? 
do watch my previous video here. Do watch it. And have a great day. And I shall have a great one myself. Until then. Bye.